One of the biggest challenges facing the global economy is the ongoing shortage of skilled workers. And to help fight that shortage is Stanley Black & Decker, who is launching an Empower Makers Global Impact Challenge. And to tell us more about it is the man, the myth, I have to say, of tradesmen and YouTube star, Kyle Stumpenhorst. How are you doing, Kyle? Wow, now that was an introduction, man. How's it going, Brad? I'm good. I have to give the introduction because I'm addicted to your, of course, YouTube channel, especially when I'm coming to doing craftsman manly stuff. It's like you literally give it into us layman terms that we can get stuff done around the house, which is really good. And it makes me feel like I'm a skilled worker, but we're definitely seeing a shortage right now of, of skilled workers out there. Oh, yeah, it's a huge shortage. In fact, in 2021, I mean, in my industry, in the construction industry alone, just in the U.S., 430,000 unfilled positions. Wow. And, and again, we're, we're talking through the pandemic, and that really caused effect of it. But I like where this new initiative is to get those skilled workers working and also projects done. Yeah, you know, October is the kickoff of Maker Month, right? So this is a great time to be talking about this because Maker Month is all about, first off, saying thank you to the people out there that are making things. Without them, let's face it, the chair you're sitting in, the studio you're in, the building I'm in, they don't exist. Um, but also it's, it's important to raise awareness on this huge detrimental shortage of uh, skilled workforce out there. And so that's what we're here to talk about today is Stanley Black and Decker. You know, they've created this initiative. It's the uh, Empower Makers Global Impact Challenge, Brad. And, you know, they've put up a lot of money, man. They're putting up $25 million over the next five years to help fund vocational skills and, uh, and retraining, you know, programs out there to get people back in the trades. Yeah, right there, retraining people because we have these amazing, you know, trade workers and skilled workers out there, but education is so important. And as we know, you know, a lot of them had to kind of like take a step back from further in their education or, or trying to get education. And this is going to be amazing. Now, how does it work for people to get into it? So the Empower Makers, um, uh, it's a grant system. So basically, if you were to go to empowermakers.com, all the information there, uh, including the application, is, is available. So if you're you know, a vocational school and you're looking for a grant money, that's where you're going to go. I like it. And also, nonprofits are able to get into this, too? Oh, for sure. Anybody that's out there trying to empower the skilled workforce. Yeah. All right. Let's talk about what the skilled workforce is so people understand. Uh, you said it right there. It's people that actually get in there and make things like we said, the chairs, the building stuff like you. Sure. Yeah. I mean, you know, everything around us was made and, and it was made by people. And without, you know, if, if we continue down this path where we keep losing people uh, out of the skilled trades, there's going to be a big issue because through the pandemic, we've had shortages on supplies. Those things only get worse when we can't bring people into the workforce to do those uh, those hard jobs. Yeah. All right. Let's talk a little about uh, Stanley Black & Decker because uh, I've gone out and bought some of their tools that I don't really even know what to do because they look so cool. Uh, and that's what's so great about uh, this company is that they know how the skilled workers need tools to, to build. Yeah, I mean, Stanley Beck, Black & Decker is all about the tradesperson. They're about the creator. They're about the maker. Uh, and through this you know, Global Impact Challenge initiative, it's not just to give money to these organizations uh, to empower the workforce, but also to bring awareness around the entire maker community, really. Yeah, and it's, it's so great they're doing this. So, okay, how can people get involved? So I think the biggest thing, you know, is besides – the empowermakers.com website where, you know, these organizations can fill out the applications and hopefully get some, some big chunk of this money that Stanley Blacker Decker is giving out. But also I think as a, as a society, we need to do a better job of educating, you know, our young people on the career options about, you know, there's a lot of negativity that sometimes surrounds skilled labor um, because it is a hard job. And uh, we really pushed computers and everything else for so long, but, it is a very rewarding job. It can be uh, financially rewarding and also personally rewarding when you make things with your own hands and you get to see the fruits of your labor. 
Yeah, and that's what you do with your YouTube channel and talking with people because, again, I'm ready to build a couple of houses off the grid. I'm ready to build some, uh, you know, add-ons and stuff and all the different things that you show them. And this initiative will definitely help a lot of people who are looking to do that, which is great. So uh, we do have information on the screen and also we'll have it on aztv.com. Kyle, thanks for joining us. Brad, thanks for having me on, man. It's a very important message, and I hope we can, uh, with Stanley Black & Decker's help, we can really change the tide on this. I think so. Thank you.